guys it's Chevy here and welcome back to my channel I just got the little whistle a second ago that it is now midnight and I'm filming a YouTube video <laughs> but I've slept literally all day y'all when I tell you I woke up at probably like 10 a.m. and I went back to bed at 1 p.m. and I woke back up at like 6 p.m. I ain't playing I really did that <laughs> so I have I feel like I have a lot of energy and I just really wanted to get this video done because it's been on my list of priorities because yeah guys I am 36 weeks pregnant and I am really 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 excited <laughs> I'm so excited to go to the hospital and finally get the chance to meet my baby boy so as you can tell by the title we're going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag and baby bag video and i have i think i've managed to put everything in my bag that i absolutely need and i have managed to not put anything in my bag that i don't need i have seen so many of these videos like i've been watching them over the past like two weeks just to make sure that i have everything that i need and everything that I don't need in there, okay? Um, because I know that the hospital will give us things for the baby as well as things for me postpartum. So I'm not, I don't wanna pack anything that I just, I just won't use, you know? I don't, I don't wanna do that. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop into the video. I'm ready, it's 12 a.m. <laughs> let's go. I'm gonna be doing my bag first and that is right over here I got this bag from Walmart I don't suggest anybody go out and buy a super cute bag like the ones that I've watched on YouTube like all of them are so cute and meanwhile I would love to get like a mommy bag or like one of those super cute bags but I'm really only gonna be using it for one day like why am I spending $150 on a mommy bag when I'm not gonna use it for that many times like at all so I got this bag from Walmart and let's see what's in there. This bag actually has me and my boyfriend's things in there. So that tells you how light I have packed and how much I just have only the essentials that I need in here. Let's go. Um, this is going to be in no kind of order, by the way, because I just kind of put everything in here. So stay the first thing that I have on top are some flip-flops. I watched on YouTube videos that um, you're going to need some flip-flops like whenever you take a shower. I don't know anybody that likes to walk around on the bare floor on like anywhere they haven't been. You know, like if, <laughs> if it's like on a college campus or a hospital or like literally anywhere other than my shower or like somebody I know showers. I want to wear some flip-flops because I'm very I'm very iffy about the floors like even here in my house I always wear socks and you can ask anybody I'm a sock person sorry I don't know what to say so I brought some flip-flops and I made sure to get the ones that are rubber and are easily clean just for disinfecting purposes you know like we're in mid coronavirus season when I go home I want to make sure that this is clean and I'm not taking any germs in the house with a brand new baby flip flops I have some socks in here I got these from Amazon I got the flip flops from Amazon as well um, but I got these socks from Amazon these are the non skid socks uh, uh, here we go can you see that and they have like the little the little grippies on the bottom super cool so you don't slip and slide in the hospital and I got two of them. Yay! So I got those from Amazon. I have one set of clothes, you guys. This is gonna be my going home clothes. And guess what? They're pajamas. Yes. I heard that you want to have the most. I heard. I'm gonna be saying that often because this is my first child. Um, and I'm I don't know exactly what to do you know I've just done my research so I'm going off of just purely what I've heard so this set is from Amazon and I got this in a size small it's so cute <laughs> I'm sure after pushing out a baby vaginally I would 
want to have something comfortable and soft and not tight, you know? So I have a pair of pajamas there and these are the bottoms. They're not tight at all. They're stretchy, drawstring. So, and pink is my favorite color. Oh yeah. <laughs> So that is literally going to be the only thing that I'm going to be wearing because I know that the hospital will provide me a gown, um, multiple gowns if I need. So I really don't think I'd even want to change into my own clothes until I'm going home, you know? I have this right here for after labor. One thing that I saw on um, some of the videos was that after the, after the baby is out <laughs> after the baby is here you feel like your body is like just falling out like your intestines are like you know everything is just shifting back in place all of your organs and everything is just shrinking and going back to where it was so i got this here to kind of keep everything in place i got it in a size small and i honestly think i'm gonna use this like i really really do um, also, I got it for, you know, after after the baby postpartum, I am not a pad wearer and the reason I don't like pads is because they feel like diapers to me, like I'm walking around with my period blood in a diaper and it feels just not good. So I want to have it close to me, like tight to me to where I don't have to feel it, you know, so this is where that's kind of thing. I hope that wasn't too much information. I'm sorry. With the period topic, I bought these underwears. Y'all know what these are, right? They're them period underwears. Them granny panties, okay? <laughs> I got a six pack and I got these from Walmart. And these are just the hipsters in a size small. I tried to make sure that I get um, a size that's gonna be, like I said, kind of tight on me. Um, but not like too tight around my waist, you know, but still tight enough to where the pad won't feel like it's going everywhere. And I don't want that feeling. So yes, get yourself some period panties. And I know that the, the hospital is gonna provide like um, the little mesh panties and like pads and stuff like that. So I'm not bringing any pads because it'll be provided for me. What's the point of bringing it and you know they're gonna give it to me I'm just taking up room in my like small little bag here I brought myself I'm gonna bring two nursing bras but I have one in here right now and this one I got from Amazon as well and no I can't remember I don't remember I think I got it Bra, oh, I got this from Walmart okay <laughs> so I got these from Walmart and they have like the little clippies here to where you can unclip them boom feed the baby and clip them back up and like I said I'm gonna pack two of them just in case I don't think I'll use two of them but I have them there if I need them I'm not gonna show you any of my boyfriend's things but he just got two pajamas in well he has a pair of sweatpants a pajamas two boxers, two shirts, and like his toiletry items, and some socks. Um, okay, back to me. <laughs> um, I packed some nibble pads because just in case my milk comes in when I'm, off, I'm at the hospital, I don't want the milk to be like, you know, coming out through my bra and my shirt and everything. It'll make everything probably a little bit messy. I got these from Amazon, and it comes with this cute little um, bag, and these are all reusable, rewashable, better for the environment, all of that jazz. So it's kind of large. I don't know if my I don't know if my nipple's gonna fit that, but I have them just in case. I I think this is so cute. I really do. I really, really do. Love the fact that it comes with its own little zippable pouch. I brought I I don't know if I'll need these, but I definitely brought them just in case. I got some nipple shields. Um, this is gonna be something I'm gonna use when I'm home. And so I figured if my milk does come in when I'm at the hospital and I'm trying to breastfeed, I can use these. I am so terrified. <laughs> I'm so terrified of breastfeeding, guys. I don't know why. Everybody has tried to tell me, like, it's not that bad, Chevy. 
like it's a beautiful moment it's a beautiful thing my i i'm just so scared of pain oh god i don't know how this labor is gonna go like oh my gosh but i wanted to bring these just in case and i have my um i have my nipples pierced so i don't know how that's gonna go with breastfeeding i really don't want to take them out i've heard a lot of people say that they don't they didn't take theirs out so we'll see if i have to or not if i have to i have to but with the nipple shield it actually fits over my nipple perfectly fine with my piercing so yeah items let's move on to toiletries and things so first things first i have some chapstick this is hawaiian tropic um very recommended okay if you're <laughs> if you're a person like me that always has some dry ass lips like you just need some chapstick and i heard it's really really cold in the room and just in case like they put an oxygen mask over my face or anything and that wind is constantly blowing i want to make sure i have my chapstick and there's actually like two more in here don't judge us we're some ashy people i have two things of hand sanitizer in here as you know we are mid pandemic so i thought these would be super cool to pick up this is mickey mouse <laughs> and this is from frozen this was just the only um hand sanitizer we could find whenever we were shopping for them so there's that and i put my toiletries on this side of the bag a lot of room in this bag so i really really dig that really dig it this is also like a little pocket i like that I have me and my boyfriend's toiletries in here. I have both of our toothbrushes and these are brand new. I highly recommend if y'all are um, packing your bags to make sure you have items that are already pre-packed, like your toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. Go out and buy like the mini ones of them so that you don't have to, on the day that um, it's time to deliver. You don't have to rush and try and find items that you need. You might forget your toothbrush. Like, you know, just make sure you already have them packed and ready to go. So our toothbrushes, I have some toothpaste. My boyfriend wanted another toothpaste, so we got two. <laughs> I have um, some Vaseline. I honestly, I can't remember why I got this, but I feel like I could use it as chapstick, you know? I I don't remember. I feel like I watched a video and they were like, you need some Vaseline. So I got some Vaseline, girl. <laughs> I got some baby oil in here as well. This is for me for whenever I'm delivering. My boyfriend can maybe rub some on my back and on my um, shoulders and maybe give me a little rub down because I already know I'm going to be a huge baby. Like, I don't do pain well, y'all. I love to complain, like, in general about absolutely nothing. So, good luck to him. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay. Um, and last thing, I just got some lotion to keep me moisturized. And I got the Dr. Teals because Dr. Teals is bomb. If y'all don't use their soap and their... Um, their body wash and their bubble bath your anyway <laughs> so let me repack this bag really quick and we're gonna go over what's in the baby bag y'all I totally forgot to mention that there's deodorant in here for me there's deodorant in here for my boyfriend and there's um, some soap and this is like the dove this is the dove soap oh my jesus it smells so good it literally just put me in a mood like i need to shower with it right now <laughs> but i just forgot about those we're not stinky people i just didn't see them at the time so yeah. okay guys let's go over what's in the baby's bag really quick uh okay so this is his bag right here his little diaper bag i got this off of amazon and this was actually on our registry. I'm not sure how to. I'm not sure how to pronounce this name at all. I'm really not. Let's see if you guys can read it. <laughs> I don't know what that says. So, yeah. But I'll link this down below. It's from Amazon. Okay. So this bag is so well recommended like it had so many great reviews and i can see why there's so many different compartments in here it's super spacious and it looks small but it's freaking huge okay it's huge 
Um, yeah, but let's jump on in. So, the um, first thing I wanted to mention, it does come with a um, changing bag. <laughs> Pregnancy brain is serious, y'all. I'm sorry. So, it does come with a nice, cute little changing pad, which is super cool. Oh, it actually has the name on here. It is Ruvalino. That's not that hard. That's not that hard. But the way it was spelled on here made it so difficult. But I like that it comes with a little changing pad. Two burping cloths. Probably need more. Who knows? And I also grabbed two of his little bibs. This one. And this one. So cute. If y'all have seen my um, redecorating my bedroom to accommodate a newborn video, y'all know that he has so many bibs. Like, it was so hard to choose, man. Ugh, so hard to choose. <laughs> okay. I have his little outfits. And I honestly, I picked out two onesies and a pair of pants, some socks, a mittens, a mitten, <laughs> a mitten and a little hat but i think that i want to redo his, his coming home outfit because his grandma got him the cutest little outfit oh my God. and it made me cry it really did because it's so small y'all i'm just who every time i think about having a baby i just get so emotional this is my very very first child and Oh my god, every time I look at my belly, I just think about automatically like how small he's gonna be or how big or his little feet or like all of that stuff. So this is man, I just I hope I hold it together because I'm I'm dead 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 serious when I'm telling you. I've just been so emotional. Okay. So the first onesie that I packed is this little one right here. It's super plain, just blue and gray and i wanted to pair it with these little pants and then his dad picked out this little outfit right here are y'all ready for this boom it says don't contaminate me bro because you know we're in coronavirus season okay and he is repping it don't touch me okay <laughs> i love this i'm definitely definitely gonna bring that one of course okay these were the outfits that his grandma got him and they're so cute man oh, this is so cute it's so precious look at the little feet oh my god i want to cry it's so fucking precious oh but this is a newborn and this is from Carter's and oh, man, I'm just so in love with it y'all I'm just so in love with it I don't know it might have to be one of the outfits I might just trade out the blue ones because I don't want to I don't want to overpack him because I know I'm only going to put one outfit on him and that's just to go home like the hospital is going to provide us with swaddles and um I've heard some hospitals also have little clothes for the baby as well, like little newborn clothes that'll fit. So I don't know. I don't think I even want to overpack him with like too many outfits, you know. So there's that one. And then she also got him this cute little one right here. Ah, uh, so cute. Once again, look at the feet. Oh my gosh. When I bring him home, y'all, I just need help because I'm not going to put him down, like, ever. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. This is a little hat to match those little pants I showed you earlier. So cute, so cute. And these are just some little socks. And some mittens. I'm going to keep these out because I haven't washed these yet. She literally just gave them to us yesterday. So I'm going to wash these. It goes out. Ugh. And everything in here is already washed, y'all. Like his bibs, mittens, socks, and all of that stuff. Whenever I made that video um, redecorating my room and I showed y'all everything that was in those drawers, can y'all believe I just put it in there? 
Like I did not even think to wash them. So please make sure you wash your baby's clothes before you put them on there. I know it sounds self-explanatory, but I just, but we washed them with Deft, that um, baby detergent. Y'all, they smell so good. Like it smells like someone just squirted perfume all over his stuff and it just smells amazing. So that gives us those little outfits right there. Um, we also got him some diapers in here. I just brought eight of them, some newborn diapers. And I am aware that the hospital will provide diapers as well as wipes, but I went ahead and brought my own because you never do know if you what you need, you know. Um, but I brought the wipes because these are water wipes and it says that they're the world's purest baby wipes made with 99% water. So I thought those would be super, super good because you know, he might be sensitive to whatever it is that they have at the hospital. So I thought it'd be nice to pack my own. I brought some little lotion for him. Um, just some little newborn lotion from Johnson & Johnson's Cotton Touch. Ooh, smells good too. <laughs> and the last thing I have in here for him is a, we go. a little pacifier. Um, I'm not sure if I'll even need this in a little pacifier clip, but this one here says, Mommy's Made Man. He's so cute. You guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if we'll even um, need this. It does have like a little top for it as well, so we can keep it sanitized. It's not just thrown in there, you know? last thing I have in here is this cute little sleep sound um, for when we're trying to have um, help the baby sleep I don't know if we'll need this I'm actually sure that we will I don't know something's just telling me to bring it um, this one is from Amazon and it only plays three sounds I think it plays um, a rain sound something else and my favorite is it plays a heartbeats for you like you know so it replicates him being in the womb I think that one he's gonna love but it it's also a little nightlight and it has a little timer on there too so definitely gonna bring that and I also watched a video that it's that said that it helps put mommy to sleep as well <laughs> not put me to sleep but helps me sleep I'm sorry I'm so silly I didn't even I accidentally took these out of his bag but this is his receiving blanket it's so soft it's plush and it's really soft and i think he'll like it, it has a little bear on it <laughs> he's so cute i just love it already so and that's just gonna be what we'll bring him home in <laughs> y'all when i did his laundry and i had just oh my god there was so much so much clothes y'all i washed everything from the bibs burping cloths mittens socks every single thing and every single item i took out to fold to put back in his little drawers i smelled every single one of them i kid you not my boyfriend was like I, that's probably why you take it so long <laughs> and he was right <laughs> a couple more things that we have i brought some bottles um, just in case he has a little bit of uh, a problem latching to my nipple, I brought some bottles so we can um, formula feed. And I also brought um, a breast pump. And this is just the handheld, handheld breast pump from Haka. I got this one from Amazon. And it's portable. It's BPA free. I don't know doesn't need any batteries it's just super super simple okay oh sorry I'm so all over the place y'all I'm gonna bring a boppy as well this is one of the two that he has I heard that this one is good for mommy and for baby as well for breastfeeding um, whenever it's time if if he does that in the hospital and also just for added comfort for him and for me so 
know, super cute, super cute. And then the very last thing that I'm gonna bring is his baby book. I cannot, cannot, and will not forget this because this is just, I feel like it's just gonna be so essential. Like I'm gonna pack, or not gonna pack, I'm just gonna have so many memories of my little one and I just want to make sure that, I don't know, everything is recorded, but I can look back and just, you know, enjoy all of the little special moments. Like, I've already started, um, I've already started doing it with his little sonograms and stuff, so, yes, and there's a little part in here for whenever he's coming home. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, here it is right here. So, this part right here, this one says my handprints, and then this part says for my my footprints, and this part over here is just for like a copy of his birth certificate. I might put that on there, might not, I don't know. But there's also like, this little part right here that says my homecoming that I can describe like how I'm feeling that day and like I don't know it's just gonna be such a blissful moment I just don't want to I don't want to forget anything so I'm definitely gonna make sure that I bring his little baby book with me so a couple of things that is not packed that I'm gonna bring um is a pillow and blanket one for me one for my boyfriend I've heard that the pillows um in the hospital are trash <laughs> not trash but they're super like paper thin and I like to be comfortable especially if I'm in pain like I need to be comfortable okay so I'm gonna make sure I bring some pillows for us I'm gonna make sure I bring some blankets for us um also I'm gonna bring our uh laptops chargers obviously I'll bring our phones and then I'll make sure I bring my camera as well because one thing I definitely want to do like I said is make sure that I have some memories okay obviously I'm gonna remember what birth is like but there's nothing like going back and watching a video or looking at the photographs from an important moment and that's something that I definitely definitely do not want to forget so I'm definitely gonna bring my camera and my tripod and I think that is JK, I actually ordered this and it's just not here yet. This is the after ease for pregnancy. Um, basically, you just drop a couple drops of this in your water or your drink after giving birth and it's supposed to help with the contractions that you're going to have after giving birth because apparently they don't stop when you push the baby out. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so... I think I did a pretty good job packing. Um, I made sure only to grab, like I said, the necessities. These were only going to be staying there probably a couple of days, max three days. With the coronavirus going on right now, um, the doctors are very lenient with when you leave the hospital. Like after you give birth, I think you can leave after like 24 hours, which is okay with me. I just burped on the <laughs> I'm so sorry. But, mm hmm. <laughs> But yeah, that's all right with me. I'm ready to get out of there and I'm not even there yet. I am four weeks away from giving birth and I'm already ready to come home with my little baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So that is pretty much the whole video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if you are a first time mom like I am, I hope you got some stuff out of this video. Um, if you are not a first time mom and you have some tips for me, leave them down below okay because <laughs> like I said this is my first child I'm sure there's something that I probably forgot but yeah I did try and pack just the necessities so please let me know if there's anything you can think of that you use during your pregnancy that you could just not go without and I promise you I'll put it in this bag dog I'll put it in there okay so make sure you subscribe to my channel I would love to see you back again for another video my socials are going to be down below in the description box as well as links to most of the items that i have shown you today so with all that being said i will see y'all in my next video have a great day today have a great week a great month and a great year peace and love